Hello, I'm EJ Alba and this is your Daily Barometer News Blast for Monday, October 9th. Oregon State University Athletics announced today that football head coach Gary Anderson was mutually parting ways with the team effective immediately. The sudden unexpected announcement comes mid-season for the Beavers, who are currently sitting at last place in the Pac-12 Conference. In what OSU Athletic Director Scott Barnes is calling an unprecedented move in collegiate sports, Anderson and the university have agreed to release each other from all future contract obligations and payments which were guaranteed through the 2021 season. Coach Anderson's decision to waive the remaining compensation is unprecedented and it is made for all of the right reasons and values and it speaks volumes about the kind of honorable person there he is. Assistant Corey Hall has been appointed as the interim head coach and has taken over at the team as of Monday. In a press conference following the announcement, Hall emphasized that his focus would be on the remainder of the season and that means getting back to work immediately to prepare for the game against Colorado this weekend. And I'm humbled because uh, Hall presented me with the opportunity to move this team forward on an interim basis. I can assure Beaver Nation that I will do everything in my power to Anderson leaves Oregon State with a record of 7-23 overall and a conference record of 3-18. He did not participate in the press conference on Monday. Barnes has reiterated that the decision for Anderson to part at this point was a mutual one between both parties and they felt this was the right time to hit a reset for the Beaver football program. Yes, so I uh, believe that it's a reset uh, for this football program. Um, when uh, the time comes that you uh, uh, don't want to continue uh, moving forward, and, and uh, that was scary state that, that uh, we decided that sooner or better, and it gives us a chance to, to uh, move, move forward in, in, in the process. And so, um, uh, difficult time, but yet uh, we'll look at this as a reset for the program and a chance to move forward uh, under Corey's leadership. The Barometer will continue to provide updates throughout the week, both online and in print. For complete stories from today's News Blast, you can visit our website at orangemedianetwork.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media and make sure to pick up this week's issue of The Barometer on newsstands around campus. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, I'm EJ Alba. Thank you for tuning in.